What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. These are some of my favorite videos to make because I made the same video with my Mini and my Audi S3 and it's basically just the hidden features and quirks of my cars. So this is going to be hidden features and some quirks of the Mark 7 GTI. So if you currently have one, you may not know some of the things that I'm going to be going over in today's video. And if you're in the market to buy one, these are some things to look for when you do purchase your car. So we're going to be starting at the inside of the car, guys, at the driver's seat. If you reach down below on the bottom, you feel a little tab, you're able to open up like a little secret compartment tray that the Mark 7 GTIs have. Now, this is standard on the S model. I have heard some people say that it's not available on the Autobahns, that the Autobahn models do not have this secret little compartment tray. So I don't want to say 100% you will or will not have it, but if you have a GTI S, you absolutely will have this. This is super good to store things, documents, your wallet, any things that you're trying to hide whatever that may be you're able to put in this little secret compartment down here which is super convenient and you wouldn't even know unless you were to look down here and it is pretty spacious actually so that's quirk hidden feature number one the little secret compartment under the driver's side seat sticking to the interior guys we're going to reach up above where the visor is the sun visor and right here let me brighten that up a little bit for you guys there's like this little tab, like a little clip. This is a credit card or document holder. So you're able to just put, if you're trying to hold stuff back here into there, paperwork, like I said, you could put your car insurance or registration. You could put your license ID, whatever you want back here, right next to the mirror. So you got your mirror right there and then you have your little clip to put your documents or cards. And also the passenger side will also have one right here as well. If they want to put some stuff there, as well. So another cool feature is going to be with the glove box. If we open up the glove box, we see that there is a little dial that's right up here. This dial is actually to keep things cool in the glove box. Like if you have water or if you have chocolates, things that can melt or things that are just nasty when they're hot, you're able to use this dial to keep them cool in your glove box. You can turn it off if you don't want it, or you can open up the vent and it shoots cold air into the actual glove box. So if I were to put up the AC, it blows very hard and you keep everything closed and it'll keep it all cool for you. If you don't have a messy glove box, you're able to put a couple of things in here, which is a really nice feature if you need to keep things cool for whatever reason in the summertime. Really nice feature that this car has. And one last thing when it comes to the interior accessories. So you have your little door cubby right here where you're able to put different things, your you know wallet, you could put, I have an easy pass there, bunch of stuff. Now all the way in the back, there is actually an extra hole that goes all the way through to the back where you could put like an umbrella, you could put a bunch of different longer things that you have if you don't have enough space to fit it in the main cubby right here. So it's gonna be very hard to see, but there is a different little compartment all the way that goes back. Again, you could put different things in there just to store a little more than the initial space that you have right here, which is actually pretty spacious in itself. And the passenger side is also gonna have the same little cubby in the back. So again, you could put an umbrella, you could put other things that you wanna maybe hide a little bit better all the way back there, which is super cool that they do for this car. So right now I have the car running. I have the radio on. The next feature that we're gonna be showing is a performance gauge that the GTI comes with from the factory. So right now I'm on the main radio section. So we're gonna click where it says car. And you can see how it comes up with like your miles per gallon and all of that stuff. If you click the arrows, as you can see, it'll just go back and forth. But if you click car again, you get this. And then you go one more time, you get your vehicle status, you click again, and you get a performance monitor. And that's really cool because the way I have mine set up right now is I have my oil temperature, boost pressure, and coolant temps all in this. But you could also slide back and forth. You have a G meter, you can do boost there, oil temp there, kilowatt there. So there are a couple different gauges that you could go through. You could switch all of them if you want. You could set it up the way that you like. Now, the one thing I will say about this gauge screen that I'm not 100% sure how accurate it is, is the boost pressure. It typically seems like when you put your foot down, it'll read all the boost all the time. So I don't think that's very accurate, but when it's stuff like oil temp and coolant temp, it is accurate. It is good to be able to monitor that stuff. So when I am spirited driving, I do like to have the gauges on just so I'm able to monitor my coolant temp and my oil temp. So that's the way I like to set it up. I like to have my oil temp on the left, boost pressure in the middle, and then my coolant temp on the right. This is a really nice feature that Volkswagen gave us for our GTIs. So we're gonna stick with the radio, guys, and it might be something that most of you know, but maybe if you're an older owner of this GTI model, you may or may not know this. Even if you do get a base model, these cars do come with Apple CarPlay. So 
maybe you might think that your car didn't because it's like an older infotainment system now that this car is, you know, six to seven years old, depending on what kind of Mark 7 you have. But all you have to do is connect your cable right down here on the bottom where the USB goes, and it should activate your Apple CarPlay. See, it's connecting with Apple CarPlay. And then you have your Apple CarPlay that just came up and connected. So you do have Apple CarPlay standard with these cars, which is super nice. I just disconnected it out to show you. But uh, if you don't think you have it, just try it out. You should have the feature. Uh, again, I know this infotainment system is a little bit older, but you will still have that nice feature, which is really cool and helpful with maps, your music, and all that stuff. So you do have Apple CarPlay with these Mark 7 GTIs. So I hope I'm not wrong about what I'm just going to mention in this video, but I think it is standard that the Mark 7 and even 7.5 GTIs come with interior LED lights from the factory because I'll even turn this on for you guys to see. So you do get LED lights with this car. Many of the GTIs that I've seen have this and I have seen them on forums where people do mention that these cars do come standard with LED lights which is super nice and even in the rear as well you'll see the LED lights back in the rear of the car. So these cars do come standard with LED lights, which is super cool. Again, uh, I don't want to say I'm 100% 100, 100 sure, but from everything that I've read, it does say that these cars are standard with this feature. So another cool thing is there's a little strip right here that goes under this aluminum trim piece on the doors all around the car. And this little piece right here is actually a red stripe light that when you have your lights on at nighttime does light up, which is really nice. It's gonna be hard because it is during the day, but if I turn on my lights, I don't know if you could tell, uh, on camera I do see that it is on, but you can see that the light turns red. At nighttime it looks really nice and it matches all the accents of the car super nicely. And you'll be able to notice now when I turn them off. There you go, see the trim just went back to like that nice clear color. And then if you turn it back on, you'll see that it went right back to red. So like I said, at nighttime, this looks super awesome. I'm sorry that during the day it is a little tough to see, but I think you'll be able to manage off the camera. So one more thing that I forgot to mention the other part of the video with the radio, there was one more feature that is really cool. If you have your car off, you're actually still able to use the radio. Now, again, be very careful with this because you could drain your battery. Obviously when the car's not running, it's running just off of battery power, but everything is off. I don't even have my key in the car. If you just press the radio button, the radio will come back on. You are able to listen. If I put the volume up a little bit, but again, don't want to have any issues with music or anything like that, but you are able to play with the radio. You can still look at your monitors. You're still able to do whatever you want while the car is off, but just keep in mind again that you are running off of battery power when you have the radio on and the car is off. But that is a cool feature, just in case you're sitting down, hanging out, and you wanna use the radio for a little bit, you do have the ability to. So now we're at the outside of the car and surprisingly a lot of people don't know this that I've noticed even people from attendance doing it for you or people pumping their own gas. But if you open up the fuel door, this little opening piece right here, let me brighten that up for you guys just a little bit. This little piece right here is meant for your fuel cap to go into when you're pumping gas. So if I take this off, you're supposed to stick your fuel cap in that little piece right there and then this won't be hanging scratching your paint or leaking any kind of fuel possibly onto your paint so this is standard to go in there and you're able to pump gas without a problem and then when you're done you just close it all up and then it stays like normal and you're good to go so you have a place to put your fuel cap when you are pumping gas in these cars. So another cool feature is actually these cars come with intermittent wipers. So it's like a smart wiper system. When it's raining and you have your car on like the medium setting and you're driving, it'll be normal. When you come to a stop, then the wipers will go to a slow setting until you start moving again and they'll speed up, which is really nice. Unfortunately, I can't show that because it's gorgeous outside and I'm not gonna scratch my windshield to show that. But give it a try if it is raining one day and you're driving and again you have your wipers on the middle setting drive with that when you come to a stop you'll notice that the wipers are going to slow down and then when you start driving again it will pick back up and another cool feature with the wipers is and i'll do this just i'll just wet the back window just so that i don't have an issue okay so if you have your wipers on here i'll do it for a second like so let's say i turn on my wiper quick right and i put the car into reverse the back wiper will go. So it'll clean off the back window so you are able to see, see, and it'll go. And just to give you a better, 
which is really nice. It'll clean off the back window for you when it's raining and you need to go into reverse to back up. Anyways, that's pretty much going to conclude today's video. There are a lot of cool little quirks and features when it comes to these cars, and I probably did forget a couple of things, so if you guys know any other features that these cars have that most people don't know about, please leave it down below in the comment section. We should have a little discussion just to see, you know, maybe I learn a couple more things, or maybe from watching this video, you might learn a couple more things about your car that maybe you haven't known for years of owning it, which is really cool, and that's why I make these videos, because it's fun to learn new things about the cars that you own. It makes the car more enjoyable. Maybe there are features that you don't know about that will improve and make you enjoy your experience with the car more. So that's why I do this. So again, guys, if you know any other features that I might have missed in today's video, please let me know down in the comment section. But hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any, any kind of questions about this car or anything that you need to know, please let me know down in the comment section below as well, because I love to help people when they have questions about their cars. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.